Yo, what's up, everyone? Happy Financial Friday. This is Josh Krafchick here to bring you the top five trends that you need to be worried about heading into 2021 for our great country of America. So presidential election's done. We don't have to deal with the emotional baggage that is in all of our social media. So a few things that you need to worry about in regards to your money heading into 2021. Number one is U.S. debt is going up. So debt is rising. We haven't had our debt be in a year not rise and increase in value since the Clinton administration, which is over 20 years ago. So it's crazy to think. And the Clinton administration is the only administration since the 1900s. He might be the only administration of all time that didn't have a budget deficit. So that's super crazy. So you got to be concerned. Money's going up. It's trillions of dollars. So how are we going to pay for all this? So we got to make sure our investments are in places that is going to keep our money safe and your money safe just in case something were to happen. In addition to the debt going up, healthcare prices are going up. So healthcare prices are going up too. So if healthcare prices are going up, what companies do we need to be looking at to put our money into to make sure that if we ever get into a position where we need to go in the hospital or we get sick, I mean, sometimes life happens. I mean, I'm 30 years old and I had a couple medical things I need to take care of. We want to make sure that we're looking forward, not backwards in regards to your money. And you got to make sure that you're investing into places that are going to help hedge against those increases in prices. So there's nothing you can do about the increasing in prices, but you can take control of your money and make sure that you're putting into places that are best for you to make sure that you're doing the best you can with everything that you have. Another thing to be worried about, so this is the third, so we talked about debt going up, healthcare prices going up, is the dollar. US dollar is decreasing in value. Um, maybe you got friends are saying, hey, buy Bitcoin, buy cryptocurrency to hedge against the US dollar, but perhaps maybe you didn't think about the US dollar going down in value. That actually might be good for the economy because if the value is going down, that means we can export more goods to other countries because other countries' currency becomes more valuable in comparison to the American dollar, which an increase in exports actually increases GDP for America. And if you remember in March after the coronavirus, GDP went down, down, down like 30%. So perhaps the dollar going down is good, but you got to make sure that you're investing into other companies that have international an international presence so that you are able to take advantage of other currencies going up in value. And fourth, so another, another reason is remote working and its impact on the economy. Huge companies have these huge office buildings and no one's in them. So what's going to happen with these big office buildings? I mean, are they just going to sit there forever and turn into like the pyramids of Egypt that people just go and look at and go, oh, look at this building here. I mean, people used to live here. Um, so we got to figure out what are we going to do with those buildings? How are those buildings going to impact the companies that you're investing in? And you want to make sure that you are prepared and make sure your portfolio and your investments aren't too heavily invested in companies that might have to start unloading some real estate because real estate's a huge investment in America. I mean, most millionaires in America become millionaires because they invest in real estate. So that's something definitely to take in consideration. And fifth, and finally, something to be concerned about heading into 2021 is Gen Z entering the workforce. So I'm a millennial. Everyone talked shit about us entering the workforce. But Gen Z, man, I met some Gen Z kids and they're super cool, super smart. But I was watching the NBA draft and they showed a picture of a floppy disk. And these kids don't even know what a floppy disk is. And... They were showing pictures of Destiny's Child, and they were like, wait, is that Beyonce? I didn't know she was in a, a girls group. So these are the people and our future that are entering the workforce, and there's more Gen Z population than millennial population. There's more millennial population than the generation ahead of us. I believe they're called Gen X. So if you're unemployed and people who are older are competing for jobs with people who are in Gen Z who are younger, most likely those companies are going to pay less for the Gen Z workers. People who are older are going to have to accept a lower income job or perhaps jobs that are outside of their field. And with the millions of people that are still unemployed, last time I checked, it was over 10 million people 
it's going to be really hard for these people to get back to work and get hired because from experience when I lost, well, I didn't lose my job. I quit my job. It still took me six months to get my next job. And that was back in 2013 when there wasn't a global pandemic. So these are some major concerns to be aware about. I'm just going to recap them for you. Number one is debt going up. Number two, healthcare prices going up. Number three, dollar going down. Number four, remote working impact on the economy. And then number five is our friends, Gen Z entering the workforce. So that's my financial Friday message for the week. These are very concerning times and these are very important subjects you need to be aware of. So if you're serious about growing your wealth, reach out to me directly. You know where to find me. We have social media. It's not hard. LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, just send me a message and I will help the best of my abilities educate you on the best ways to grow your wealth. So until next time, I'll see you next Friday. Bye.